What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was against this level 8 Vietnamese clan. I think it's called Welcome to Do or To Do or not sure how they pronounce it or what it means. But uh, they did their best. They'll flip over here 64.55 in favor of 2.0. Uh, so good job guys. Um, it was a bit of a sloppy war for the 2.0 side. Um, we'll just flip over real quick and check to see what they did to our bases. Uh, missed one on Matt. Uh, lots of twos on the nines. Uh, they really struggled on the three-star count overall. Um, smaller 25-man war. Uh, oops, did not mean to press there. I wanted to press here. Yeah, 17 to 6 was the three-star count. So they struggled, but gave it their best. So good for them. Uh, okay, next landed a couple triples. We'll definitely show those. Uh, but as you'll see, as we kind of go through these nines, <laughs> it was... Not our best showing. Um, I think we only attacked this base one time. Uh, a lot of these bottom bases were more common foreign bases. So I am definitely uh, definitely want to show a couple of those because I think everyone can relate to seeing those in their uh, random war matchups uh, more than these anti-three stars. So uh, I want to roll through KNX's triples here. Let's check them out. So brings his classic quad Lalo suicide uh, hero swap here. Um, so uh, I, I actually saw this exact same base get three-starred, I think, uh, in the Invicta War last time. A uh, little bit different here, um, what KNX does. Uh, last I saw was a queen walk starting from this 9 o'clock, took out that air defense, walked down here, then sent everything in, and took out this air defense. But KNX just knows his, his army well enough. He does not care uh, about that other air defense. He's got four lava hounds. He knows exactly where everything's going to path. As long as he takes care of these CC troops here in one moment, rages it up. Takes down the defensive queen, takes down the CC troops just in time. That probably was a scary moment for them there, but their job's done. Rest of the uh, air attack goes in. As you can see, a couple hounds on each of these uh, left side air defenses. Sends in the balloons and just a horseshoe. Uh, along with those haste, everything's going to start pushing through that core. Boom, down goes the threes, but gets an inferno and two Teslas. So solid job there. Um, Oh, he didn't end up getting that air defense. He didn't get any air defenses and still manages to three this base. Like, what a beast. So just, just surrounds the base with these haste spells and, and balloons, sending him in at all angles. Infernos are down. Uh, really, there's only a couple more defenses to go at this point. That uh, that cannon, that Tesla, that other cannon. KNX just ripped this apart. Uh, as you can see, uh, did not go exactly to his plan, but still worked out in his favor. Uh, luck of the Irish, I guess. Even though I don't think he's Irish. <laughs> awesome. Nice attack, KNX. Check out your other triple here. Beautiful six star war buddy. Uh, so, again, max defenses other than walls. Um, so, these bases aren't, aren't too terrible. I mean, lower heroes, 17, 18 heroes. So, KNX goes ahead and gets the lure. Drops a jump spell over this uh, air defense, and these air defense are extremely exposed. So KNX uh, decides to exploit that, um, goes, hops in with his king, takes out the defensive archer queen, takes out the CC troops, takes out the air defense, and it's GG. As soon as that dragon goes down, he's going to send in his air attack here. There goes his lava hounds, a couple uh, balloons on each defense. Oh, you're going down here? Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh... Love doing the recaps with my little one around. She, she enjoys hanging out with me. Um, but as you see, there's balloons now pressing into every part of this base at this point. Lava Hound's on that uh, the second last remaining air defense. Drops another Lava Hound on the remaining air defense. Drops the balloon a touch too early. Oh, that was a CC balloon. So I'm surprised it did not. Oh, the balloon drop comes out first. That's right. So the air defense targeted that. If you just dropped it a bit further back... Um, would have saved that balloon, but no big deal. Doesn't matter at this point. His queen is still doing cleanup. That is very um, uncharacteristic of these attacks for KNX. He usually just kind of suicides his heroes because he doesn't want anything uh, screwing anything up. Like if there's a lava hound in the CC, then you know he really wants his heroes to die. He doesn't want that queen chasing a lava hound around. But with dragon loons in the CC, uh, his queen managed to live and is helping with the cleanup here. So KNX, six star war, gets to that town hall 10 without one of his uh, lava hounds bursting. That's impressive. Beauty. Okay, so uh, again, it wasn't a crazy interesting war. I got a lot of recaps to do. So sorry, guys. I'm going to cut this one a little short. Um, I did have a couple I wanted to show you on these very common forum bases that you see. Uh, this one by Jason. Um, I've seen this base a gazillion times, although this is like 
a very poor variation of the base that you're used to seeing. Uh, usually there's more down on these ends um, and less of this wall stacking going on. I don't know what the, he thinks the benefit of that is. Uh, also the heroes being way out on the edge here. Uh, as you can see, uh, Jason's just gonna go ahead and drop his king, rage it up, defensive queen is already taken care of. So, you know, no big deal. Uh, Queen's down. He's going to go ahead and send in uh, stone entry from this kind of left. He, he really just wants to, to take out this whole left side section of the base, and he's just going to hog in a circle around the rest. So Poison goes down, taking care of those CC troops. Uh, the Queen actually goes for a bit of a hike here. Um, I hate how long it takes her to lock onto those CC troops sometimes. Like she's pretty much standing right beside it and is not not taking the bait so uh she is working on those defenses though the other golems are going in uh that golem is toast now though it's been getting taking that dragon fire forever so as you see as everything kind of starts moving up this dragon moves up into his queen's range he's gonna rage her up finish off that dragon golems are hopping into this compartment where there's a couple double giant bombs and a tesla so now that this huge kind of problem area is taken care of he's just gonna go ahead and send in the hogs right here boom 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 and the hog pathing is gonna take him up and around this base and kind of back into the core. Now these Teslas are giving his golems a bit of trouble, but his queen's still backing everything up. There goes the there goes the other bomb. So was there actually three bombs in this one compartment? And there was. <laughs> I don't know if he knew that, but that's pretty that's pretty crazy. Like I said, this guy made took a kind of poor form base and made it even worse. <laughs> so uh, Jason really exploits that. He's got all these hogs jumping in on these last kind of uh, Teslas. Uh, gets the heel down. They're gonna hop over that crossbow as soon as that sweeper goes down. Once that crossbow's down, there's literally what two cannons, two wizard towers, two archer towers remaining. He's already got cleanup whiz on the top section of this base. Uh, second last heel goes down. I should say. Um, as you can see, it doesn't stand a chance. I, I I can't obviously count the hogs at this point, but he's got at least, I'd say, 15 hogs working on these last few defenses. It's GG. Nice job, Jason. Way to just shred this base. Beautiful attack. Three, four double giant bombs in one compartment. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> do not do that ever. <laughs> or this will happen. <laughs> All right, I had one more I just wanted to show you. Um... Let me see that. Perfect. 24 or Gorn. Uh, it's another very common kind of ring style form base. Now, I was talking to my brother-in-law. He was a little bit newer to the, especially newer to the TH9 uh, three-star game. And I was trying to teach him that whenever you see a ring base like this with a huge core, with huge value in the core, because you got to know there's Teslas and bombs in there. I immediately myself think of one of two attacks. What Gorn did here with a stoned entry three golems and his kill squad backing it up with hogs and heels or instead of three golems bring a bunch of valks eight ten valks with two golems and let, make sure those valks go in under a rage and a heal and they're going to rip that core apart and then all you got to do is target those outer defenses with either balloons depending on whether there's air defense uh or just hogs or a mix i actually had in my last attack i used uh eight valks two uh, two golems with my wizards to funnel and my heroes and then I brought a giant and eight hogs for one section of the base and I brought ten balloons for the other section of the base and it, it worked perfectly so whenever you see these ring style bases whenever you know you can get your valks or or three golems into that chunk of base uh, and just have them roam free you're looking dandy like that that's that's as soon as you see these ring bases guys think stoned Stone Goho or uh, Go Valo or Go Voho, because um, if, like I said, if you can let Valks or, or a bunch of Golems into a huge chunk of the base like that, like I don't know what the percentage would be if you drew a square around that, but that's like a good 75, 85 percent of the base that they're gonna have access to. So really, your hogs just gotta take care of those other defenses. As you can see, Gorn's just kind of trolling through this base now. A couple Archer towers remaining. That's barely any hogs remaining, really. I think there's only four or five hogs left there. Uh, but the cannon is the last defense. It goes down. Hogs turn around for cleanup. Has just enough to finish off this base. Gorn just killed it, buddy. Like I said, I probably would have brought Valks myself. But Stoned is very similar, uh, I guess, attack style to, to Valks. So hopefully that helps out with a couple uh, common style uh, forum bases for you. That really bugged me. <laughs> Can't believe we only got one there, but um, <laughs> we just won't talk about that anymore. I'm going to keep this one really short. i uh, got a lot of t content coming up. Uh, me and Kad Kadik from uh, 
from what I have in VicDog, they are starting a base building series. So that first uh, introductory video is uh, just getting uploaded now. So I'm really excited to release that series. And we're going to be working on a lot more kind of theory craft for you guys and, and showing a lot of these more forum bases that you as a, a normal uh, average war person in Clash of Clans is going to face on a regular basis. And we're going to talk about um, how do you know, um, things like just how do you know when to bring three golems how do you know where to send in your hogs like what does the hog path thing what does the hog path thing do right oh wow <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> yeah thanks lily i had to find her doggy <laughs> anyhow guys i gotta cut it short as you can see i got my hands full here anyway so that'll about do it for your wisdom from wiser uh just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and until then i'm out